So I am in the get category by ID view, where currently we only display the details for the category, which in our case is just the name. But now we also want to display the books that belong to this category. So the view now isn't going to be using category DTO like it is now, but instead it will be using the newly created category books view model. And that comes from booksguid.viewmodels namespace. So our model will be different. It's going to be the models. And if I press dot, you can see here is our view model, category books, view model, and that's the one we want for this view. So let's make some modifications here. As you can see, the IntelliSense is complaining about some stuff. And that's because our model now has two classes. It has the list of books and an object of category. So we have to specify which property of which class we are accessing. So here, it's not just the name, it's model dot, and you can see here is the books and here's the category. And we want the name of the category here, so category dot name. So this displays now our name for the category in a paragraph. The links stay the same, but of course our model now changes. The ID for the category now, of course, comes from model.category.id. And the same for the second link. So this fixes the category part of the view. So now we can add the part where we display the books for the category. So here, after we display the category details, I'm just going to add some spaces and another div. And inside we can display the book message if there is any, meaning if there is no book for this category, it will display the message from the view bag. And it can display it in a, let's say, h4 tag, and it will simply say the view bag dot, and this is not the message, this is the book message property. Here in the categories controller, you can see that over here we have the view bag dot book message that simply states that the category has no books if obviously the book count is zero. And the view bag dot message is the error message that is shown if there was problem retrieving the category itself. So back to the view. And after we display the message, if there is any, of course, we can now display the actual books for the category. And if there are any books, we will loop through the list and display each of them. So all we want to display is the title of each book. So we can do a simple for each loop. So I'll start a for each. And again, it's gonna be an item in and this time we want to loop through the model dot and the list of books and we will display each book in a paragraph and a div so I'll just start a new div and inside a paragraph and we can simply display the title so again I'll do that as strong it's gonna be the title of the book and next to it, we can display, maybe in a span, the actual title. And the title comes from the loop, so it's item dot. And here are all the book properties, and we just want the title. So we display the label that says title, then we display the title itself. And next to the title, we can display a link that will simply go to the book details for this title. So I'm going to actually borrow one of these links over here and paste them right here. Now I don't want it as a button, this is going to be a simple text link, so I'll delete the class. And the link will not go to categories controller, but rather for books, but the books will be actually in a home controller. So we can do controller as home, 
and the action in this case is gonna be the get book by ID because we will simply want to display the details of the book. And we will route, of course, the ID for the book, which is gonna be named book ID. And the ID itself doesn't come from model, it comes from our loop, which is going to be obviously the item that ID. And rather than delete a category as a link, we simply name this book detail. And that's our view. The first portion of the view will display the category and under there we will display the books that belong to this category. Alright, so let's see what we get when we run this.